Albright here, and it's time for another Knowledge Nap episode of the Why Behind Your Z's. And today I'm answering this question, why is my melatonin making my sleep worse? Welcome to the Why Behind Your Z's podcast. The show that helps you maximize your sleep one night at a time. Brought to you by SleepYouDeserve.com Why is my melatonin making my sleep worse? The answer is, melatonin supplements are generally safe, but you have to set yourself up for success with them. Your body naturally produces melatonin and secretes it generally after the sun is completely out of the horizon. In most time zones, that's about 9 o'clock. You'll get sleepy and expected to be in bed within 2 hours and wake up 6 to 8 hours later. However, melatonin release also depends on other natural triggers like the absence of bright light on your skin and light in your eyes. These can trick your body into thinking, oh, we're still awake and functioning, so why would it release melatonin when you're supposed to be awake? And hence, the battle starts in your mind. So this is why taking the supplements at the right time with the right setup is critical. Melatonin supplements are going to act like the real thing, so if you take them later in the evening, they're going to wear off later in the morning. So let's say you're trying to get to bed at 11, and you decide to take your melatonin supplements at 11. They're really not going to kick in until 1. If you're trying to get up at 7, they're probably still going to be in your system until about 9. So you may wake up at 7, but feel really, really groggy for the next two hours. That's not setting yourself up for melatonin to do its job. So what can you do? The next steps always involve visiting the domains, the four domains where you make the most differences in your sleep. The first is in nutrition. Make more of your own melatonin. You can do this by adjusting your diet to include natural sources of melatonin like almonds or goji berries and dark cherries and tart cherries. Oily fish like salmon and sardines are also rich in melatonin. You also need serotonin to produce melatonin. Sources of magnesium, vitamin D, and tryptophan all combine to do just that. If you can can get foods and nutrients and even other supplements that are full of these things, full of magnesium or vitamin D, and you're getting the tryptophan amino acids from sources of food, you will start to produce more melatonin on your own. For your body, you know, this is something that I'm going to suggest that, that may help you, but it really, really helps people that work on night shift. So shift workers like to take melatonin to help them sleep. But sometimes shift workers, when they get off work, they're coming out into bright, bright daylight that hits their skin. And remember, I just said that bright daylight on your skin will inhibit melatonin release. And so what you're going to want to do is keep as much of your skin covered as possible if you're going to be in bright lights after the sun has set beyond the horizon or if you're going to be in sunlight because you're getting off work as the sun rises and and then some so keep your skin covered as much as possible and put on blue blocker shades on your way home and when you get home make sure the sunlight is not peeking into your house. So make sure that all those shades are drawn and the lights are off. You do all these things to protect all those lights from triggering your your body into inhibiting the melatonin supplements that you took. That's what you need to do. Protect your body from exposure to bright lights as you are trying to be on your way to sleep. For your bedroom, start turning those lights down in the bedroom and the house once the sun disappears from the horizon. They don't have to be completely off, but they can gradually be lowered until it's time to hit the sack. 
So if it's about eight o'clock, maybe you want to turn the lights down to half strength. If it's about nine o'clock, maybe you want to turn off all the lights except for the ones that you are actively using. And then when it gets a little bit later than that, you're going to want to turn off as many lights as possible, especially in your bedroom and for your mind space area. Put it in your schedule to take your melatonin two hours before bed and preferably as close to 9 p.m. as possible. In fact, I would even use that trick to set an alert to start turning those lights down an hour before that. Don't inhibit it. Let it help you get the sleep you deserve. For more resources and information on this Knowledge Nap episode, check the show notes. You will often find links to peer-reviewed journals that explain even further the concepts discussed, and you will also find a link where you can subscribe to my email list. And if you do sign up to my email list, you will get a free book, Sleep 101, How Sleep is Supposed to Work. Check the show notes. Subscribe.